Elden Ring is the biggest game ever made. When you start, the map is like this, and you go, damn, this game is big. Then you get teleported to the other side of the map and realize, oh my god, this game is big. Then you get teleported to the top of the map and you go, whoa, this game big. Then you realize there's an entire other world underground, and a floating island, and a massive city, and an entire secret castle. Two of them actually. There are secret zones within secret zones within secret zones. So the absolute highest compliment I can pay this game is to tell you that I have beaten this game four times now. Right out the gate, Jew, we're ripping off Zelda. You literally wake up in a tomb, open a big door, and the game says go. No hand holding, no bullshit, just go wherever you want to go. Except don't fight that guy, and don't go over here because you'll die, and don't follow the beam of light because that's a fucking scam. Elden Ring's gameplay loop is to put a bullshit boss in front of you and say, okay, now go into the world and find something to chop his head off with. Having a concrete goal like defeating a scumbag boss makes exploration feel that much more meaningful. And visually, this is a world worth exploring. Walking around in this game is like stepping inside of a painting. There are hundreds upon hundreds of scenic vistas which look impossibly curated and intentional, and the spaces in between are populated with an absurd array of creative enemies and bosses. FromSoft is famous for their enemy design, and they are really bringing the heat here not only in sheer quantity, but also in terms of moves and variety. Penguins is in this game, doggy statues, doggy wizards, giant lobsters, vampire bats that sing the Halo theme. They got pumpkin head to be in this, stretchy lizard man, the list goes on and on and on and you're saying, Donkey, please don't spoil this game for me, but I can't. This game cannot be spoiled because this game does not end, okay? This is Dark Souls 4, no end credits edition. But what's frustrating about Elden Ring is that for all the effort that has gone into the world and enemies. It feels like they only spent 10 seconds balancing this game. The difficulty in this game is best described as, uh, what is, what is the word I'm looking for here? Uh, uh, t total fucking horseshit. This is an evil game made by an evil man, and whoever's job it was to balance the damage scaling on enemies did not show up to work for the entire making of this game. Just from saying that, Already people are pissed off at me. They're saying Dunkey sucks. I hate you Dunkey nitpicking and biased. You only like Xbox, but always remember I beat this and this is fucking stupid and I beat Elden Ring one two three four times because why because I'm the realest gamer of all time and I say it's too hard. I am calling this game out. Not because it's a bad game, but because it's an incredible game that is held back by very poor balancing. Many of your deaths in this game do not feel earned, like dying to this stupid shit or losing 70,000 runes to the wonky platforming. So many enemies in this game can kill you in one or two hits or kill you with a combo that comes out so fast it feels like one hit, or they can stun you into another hit which also feels like a one hit kill, or they can just kill you in one grab, straight up. Having super aggressive enemies with crazy combos and unpredictable attacks is the fun kind of difficult, but making those moves hit for your entire health bar is fucking lame and cheap. Rewards. Now what's fun about Elden Ring's rewards is you never know what you're gonna get. What sucks about that is you end up struggling in a cave for an hour to get a wizard staff that you can't even use. Look at this dude. He cannot actually turn around to attack you. He is worth 3300 XP. Then you have this guy who can do this, and he can say this, or he can say this, and he has this move too. This guy, who has a ton of health by the way, is worth 3800 XP. Only 500 more than the guy who can't turn around. Ow, wah! You think that's fucked up though? Look at these guys. They're literally sleeping. Watch what happens when I hit L2. I just got 20,000 XP for that. There are so many different weapons and spells and summons and special moves in this game that should make Elden Ring a wonderland for experimentation, but because the upgrade system is so rigid and stingy, you feel discouraged from creating wacky builds. And then on top of that, you have this late game difficulty spike where it feels like your character just got reset back to level one. The end game bosses are so brutal and so fast that 
that it ultimately funnels every player into using the same broken builds. It's probably starting to sound like I hate this game, but try to remember. I beat this big ass game four times. Four and a half actually. Clearly they did something right. Games like this are far and few between, so I want them to get this one just right. And the good news is that most of the problems with Elden Ring can be fixed by one dude with a slider tool. Just turn enemy damage down by 20, you know, 30, 70% and we're back in business. One, two, three, four! 